Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to improve the speed of almost any kind of older laptop that's available now. So this particular computer uh, has a mechanical hard drive inside it and it kind of runs very, very slowly. And so what I'm going to be doing is to be upgrading to a solid state drive. So uh, what I want to be able to do is to clone all the data from the hard drive inside here onto the solid state drive on here. So what I'm going to be teaching in this video is how to clone all your data. So when we plug in the solid state drive and the computer is running much faster, we want all of the data to be exactly how it is right now. So um, I'm just going to show you how to do that. So the main thing is we're going to be installing something called Macron Reflect. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. This is a free piece of software. So I'm just going to the Macron Reflect website here and then I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And uh, we want to use the Reflect 7 free. So we're going to download the Macron Reflect software from here. We just want a personal license. Let's continue. You don't have to enter an email address. We just let that download. So it's going to click on that when it downloads there. So once this uh, software comes up, we're going to select the free package there and we're going to download it onto the drive here. So I'm just going to click download here and let that start going. Um, so while that's downloading, what we're going to need is a USB to 2.5 inch SATA uh, interface. So this is this adapter here. This one is made by this company called Sabrent and I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. We're going to use this to plug into our laptop and then the other end is going to plug into our solid state drive so that we can clone all the data over. Let me unbox this solid state drive while we're waiting. It's just a pretty generic packaging. We are using a SanDisk solid state drive here. We could literally use any brand that is this uh, 2.5 inch interface in size. So when it comes to actually installing this, uh, all we're going to do is connect it to this adapter here. So you can kind of align up the connectors like so and just kind of plug it in like that. And that's uh, ready to be plugged into the laptop. So I'm going to plug the USB end into the laptop. So that's now plugged in and we're going to be ready to do the clone once this finishes downloading. So I'm going to click next here. Accept the licensing agreement. Press next. We're going to be using it for home use. We're not going to register. We're just going to click next. And then I won't install a desktop shortcut and then click next. And install. So once the setup's complete, we're just going to click finish here and that's going to automatically launch the next part. So when you launch Micron Reflect for the first time, you'll see that this is basically your internal hard drive here and it's split into partitions. So basically we have a C drive here, which is the Windows drive, which contains your operating system. And then this particular computer is slightly unusual because it's got a D drive here. So it means it's got a second data partition, but we're going to copy all of that into this gray blank space here. So that just refers to our solid state drive, which I've plugged in via USB. And uh, what I'm going to do is select the first row here. And we have these options at the bottom. And one of them here says clone this disk. I'm just going to click on that. We want to select the, the grade Sabrent drive here. So that's a 220 gigabyte hard drive. And I want to be able to copy these partitions over. So the important thing is we basically select all the partitions like that and then click copy selected partitions. And once that's done, that means that all of these four partitions are reflected over. So we've got the C drive, the D drive, and then we also have these two system windows partitions here. They're like the recovery drives that we're going to need later. If, um, for, if, for example, you're moving from a larger drive to a smaller drive and the partitions don't quite fit correctly, you can always select one of the drives and then change the partition settings. So you can change the sizes here. And then uh, if, if the partitions don't quite match, you can then drag it back over and when there's more space. But this particular one has worked out just fine. So I'm just going to press next here and then press next here and then finish. And uh, I'm going to run this back up now. So this computer is just going to run and it's going to clone all that data that we need all over. This might take a little bit of time. So just let that run for a little bit. So this clone has completed and you know the reason why it's taken so long three and a half hours to copy about 180 gigabytes of data is because the hard drive is failing and so it's really slowed down a lot and the solid state drive is going to help with that a lot so what i'm going to do now is to install the solid state drive into this particular laptop i'm not going to show you that 
in this particular video. If you'd like to watch this video, it'll be the next one coming up in the description. There'll be a link. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it useful and that you're able to clone your operating systems and make use of the solid state drive, which is much faster than a traditional hard drive. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.